at a combined weight of 479 pounds. Jimmy Uso certainly looks to Jimmy be in a mood Uso here tonight, guys. And Which Jay isn't he in a mood, Michael? Uso. competition. Descendants of Odin himself, a true destructive force in the tag team division. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 552 pounds, Hanson and Rose. are two big, bad, scary dudes who have run roughshod over the tag team division. Yeah, two absolute wrecking balls who are thirsty for demolition. Terrifying blend of size, speed, power, and agility. There's basically nothing the War Raiders can't do in the ring. You see these two behemoths walking towards you. A lot of people would argue the match is already over before the bell rings. connect with one super kick and that can change everything. You may be down since day one-ish, but that kick will put you down in a second. Beautiful technique. Boom, what impact! Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Hart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, Remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown tag team champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the tag team title tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural tag team champion. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from 
an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. The devastation that comes from the Samoan Splash is definitely a family affair when you're talking about Jimmy Uso. We can feel the impact from here when Jimmy lands on his opponent. This might be it! Oh my! Nailed it! Mention of Absolutely planted. When you're the son of WWE Hall of Famer Rikishi, it's safe to say you know how to fly. Jimmy Uso's version of the Samoan Splash is as devastating as they come. Seeing Jimmy Uso climb to that top rope means he's looking to put his opponent away. The Samoan Splash is going to bring Jimmy more victories as time goes on. Spinning kick to the gut. What a driver. Neck breaker. That could be it. What a strike. Slam down hard. Oh, that hurt knee to the spine. The Usos had dreams of playing professional football. They were highly recruited out of high school and played side by side as linebackers at the University of West Alabama. And when it appeared that a life in the NFL wasn't going to happen, they sold office furniture for six years before training to become WWE superstars. Ooh, right to the face. Mention Oku driver. Oh, absolutely planted. Ooh, what impact. Every WWE superstar has a unique path to stardom. I remember in the mid-2000s when their father, Rikishi, told me about Jimmy and Jay receiving college recruiting letters at home to play college football. I've seen footage of the Usos playing at the linebacker position in college, and they were tremendous on the defensive side of the football. In the end, it looks like they're right where they should be here in WWE, and that's putting a beating on people. Nice monkey flip. Elbow drop with authority. Boom! <laughs> There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Oh, boom! Oh, oh, swept the leg right out from under. Harsh impact. Slammed with authority. Well, I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Yeah, he's got some magic work, and that's for sure. This might be it! Oh, my! Spinning kick to the gut! Mention of Gucci oh. Absolutely planted. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. from Jey Uso. And look at the quickness by Rowe. Using the elbow as a weapon. Boom, right in the button. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via... He might have it. Beautiful technique. This crap... Oh, nasty impact. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. Jey Uso is just getting overwhelmed. 
Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry your opponent all day. You gotta make a move eventually. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring is... Uh-oh, Oos! He's got him in position, Byron! Oh, you know it's... Oh! Here's his moment, Michael. Ooh, what a stomp. Good grief. Oof. A lot of damage taken on by Jey Uso. I'm not sure how this will pan out. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE has hopped. Here he goes. has a big kick out on lockdown. Hansen just barely got out of the way. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination. We're going to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage. And that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots. But I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever. And what put them in that category was when they're... Jay about to... Boom! Oh, Man! Wow! What? We gotta cover. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers. Stevens and Patterson. Stevens and Bockwinkle. The Texas Outlaws. The Briscoes. The Blackjacks. The Andersons. And the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together. And that will likely end Jay's night. So incredibly devastating. He's got plenty of gas left in his tank. Uh, too early for that. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team would be wearing the gold. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Oh, shoulder breaker. That is going to hurt. Oh, oh, man. Man. That's going to hurt. Ooh. Boom, right across the small of the back. Boom, right across. Samoan driver. I knew it was only a matter of time. Oh, what a slam. Landed him. Penny in predicament. He breaks up the pin, and Corey, the match continues. I love it. Yeah, he's got something special brewing here. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Whoa! Cross body! Jimmy Uso taking quite a beating. You can't help but wonder how much more of this he can take. He is hurt. Let's remember, though, guys, his opponent doesn't seem to be in great shape either. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Back in from the floor. Beautiful technique. Inside the ring now. Up and down, leg lariat. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Yeah, a few superstars are as acrobatic. Oh, oh my God, what impact. Tagged in. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. Uh, going to the top, high risk. Oh boy, he is rolling. Look at this, diving crossbody! Going all toss into the wind. Oh, nasty impact. In off the tag. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. 
He wants it one more time. Wow, Jimmy Uso just timed that perfectly. He's looking a little off balance. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. The abuse his body has gone through in this match is a little disturbing. I don't know why he hasn't made the tag yet. It's almost like he enjoys the pain. Oh, the dreaded claw to the oh, shoulder. Man, man. This is a tag. Here's where Jimmy can win this thing. That is it. Looking for all the glory here. One. Something in mind. What's it gonna be? Yeah. Boom! Daddy never did pet fast. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. You gotta believe this one's over. Showing off some of his speed there. Harsh impact. Oh, and he reverses it. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Wide forearm. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Lightning fast reflexes. Uh-oh. Solo kick! Oh, he turns it around. Oh, no! Someone called the orthodontist. When this guy's on, look out. These superstars are doing it right now. They've got to be exhausted. Boom. Nice. <laughs> and look at the quickness by Rowe. Back in the ring again. Jay Uso just barely getting out of the way with the quickness. Top of the elbow. Right on the jaw. Jey Uso looking to go airborne. Jay looking down. Uso splash! Jay should be able to cruise the victory here. Three! They did it! Wow, what a match! That match deserves another look. Here we go. He's getting after it here. He's getting it done here. He ain't playing here. And this is how he ended it. Here are your winners and the new Internet WWE SmackDown Tag Team Jimmy Uso and Jay. Jey Uso is the one to put this one away for the team. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count.